I was just thinking about the difference in the way our grandparents dated versus the way people date today. Like how in most of human history, not just our grandparents, but people would date and marry someone within their village or their hometown if they even had a choice because there were so many arranged marriages. And now literally people have more choices than any other point in history. People swipe through thousands and thousands of choices and if someone doesn't work out, you just swipe, swipe, swipe to find someone better. And yet people say there's no good choices out there and our divorce rate is higher than ever before. My background is in marketing and I remember learning about something called the paradox of choice and it basically means when you have too many choices, you have none. There's a book about that. This is tricky, right? Because I'm all about having high standards and I don't think you should just marry someone because you think that's your only choice. But at the same time, I was just talking to a girl the other day who was like, I can never go on a second date with this guy because he brought me the wrong type of flowers. I'm like, girlfriend, he bought you flowers. I've just come to realize that a good marriage isn't something you find, it's something you make. There's books upon books on compatibility, but I think that the only one non-negotiable is a shared faith. All right, so here's the deal. You are going to have to forgive your spouse, not because they always deserve it. You are going to have to love, not because you always feel like it. But Jesus gives us the example of unconditional sacrificial love on the cross. And he invites us to this gift called marriage to show up every day and be a little example. We're going to get this wrong, but striving to be an example of Jesus to each other. I just feel like that's a little bit more constructive and leaving to longer, better marriages than this what's in it for me dating mentality. Um, also, never stop dating your spouse. Excuse me, I have a date.